Welcome back. 643 now on Daybreak. And we love celebrating the people who make Buffalo and Western New York a better place to live. And today we're introducing you to a doctor whose reach goes well beyond the 716. He's one of the most world-renowned neurosurgeons ever. And anyone you know or love who may have suffered a stroke in the last two decades has likely had better treatment and recovery because of this local doctor and his courage to challenge the status quo, making Dr. Nick Hopkins one of the selfless among us. When I started, there weren't any neurosurgeons doing this. When Dr. L. Nelson, or Nick Hopkins III, entered the field of neurosurgery in the early 70s, most patients who suffered a brain injury or stroke had to have an open craniotomy and were forced to live out their days in a nursing home. Hopkins thought there must be a better and more minimally invasive method, and he became the father of endovascular neurosurgery. It wasn't evidence-based. It was in intuition, and it was, you know, skill set and knowledge. He faced pushback from others, but eventually it was widely accepted, and he created a paradigm shift in the treatment of stroke. And then we did all kinds of neat things in our department. Like at one point, the guys came up with the idea of, why don't we try putting a stent in the artery like the cardiologists do? And we did that, and it worked. Dr. Hopkins also had another seemingly crazy idea at the time. Instead of different kinds of doctors working alone in their own department, have them work together. And that's how Hopkins helped create Gates Vascular Institute, the first multidisciplinary vascular hospital in the country. You're making advances because you're doing things in a multidisciplinary world. Nobody else was doing that. So we were way ahead of everybody. Hopkins was also the founder of the Jacobs Institute, which hosts biomedical startups. Dr. Adnan Siddiqui is now the CEO, and he says Dr. Hopkins was his mentor, and he wanted to emulate him in medicine so and in life. Every time a new idea came up, uh, he would congratulate you for coming up with the idea when you know it came from him. And by convincing everybody around him that they were great, uh, he is the greatest leader I personally know. Dr. Hopkins was the chair of UB's Department of Neurosurgery for nearly 25 years. And in that time, he trained more than 60 fellows. We're a lot younger then. Including Dr. Alad Levy, who is now the department chair. He's selfless, he's a pioneer, but he's also a renegade. Now he's created a legacy. He's created generation after generation of disciples that have transformed the care of stroke and aneurysm and hemorrhage. And of all his professional accomplishments, Hopkins says that makes him most proud. What is leadership? I think it's finding wonderful, talented people to work with you and then getting the hell, the hell out of their way and letting them do their thing. And Dr. Hopkins got out of the way several years ago when he retired. At 79 years old now, he is still doing some consulting, but mostly spending time with his wife, Bonnie, sweethearts since the seventh grade and married for 57 years. They have three children and eight grandchildren, so he loves spending time with them. Uh, but Dr. Hopkins will be recognized with Kaleida's Lifetime Achievement Award at an event in January. Well deserved. Yeah, for sure. what a lifetime full of achievements. Mm -hmm. Great story. All right, time now to check in with.